theory in a nutshell, intervals augmented and diminished. Um, this is more the intermediate level um, of, of rudiments. Um, at the uh, beginner level, we talk about the major, minor, and perfects. And now we're going to add the augmented and diminished intervals. If you're doing RCM theory, this would start at level 6. Now our major, minor intervals are 2s, 3rds, 6s, and 7s. I chose to start with a C on the bottom, because as we know, we think in the scale, the scale of the bottom note, so we can think in C, no sharps, not flats, makes it easy, and I decided to work with a sixth. Now I like counting up on my fingers, C, D, E, F, G, A, <laughs> let's try that again, C, D, E, F, G, A, and um, there's your A, or you can count line space, line space, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you still get to A. I think people make less mistakes using their fingers, but whatever works for you, works for you. Now, we also know already that if that top note is closer by a half step, so it's a half step lower than what's in the scale, it's a minor triad, right? Okay, now we have diminished and augmented triads. Diminished triads, that top note is two steps closer, two half steps closer, two half steps closer, right? So we're using an A double flat. Um, now, yes, we could change the bottom note, but I want to just work with C's right now, okay? So we're going to do it that way. So two half steps closer, whichever way that closer is going to happen, is our diminished. Right now, we made uh, from the A, took it to an A flat to an A double flat. Now, some students will say to me, but hey, that A double flat's a G. Well, it is a G if you, you know, if you hear it or if you're playing it, if you're fingering it. A G, though, is a fifth. C to a G is a fifth. We are talking about sixths. So we have to keep it as some kind of an A. So in theory, we have A double sharps. You'll see it in music too. You'll see double sharps and double flats in music. And the reason is because of their function within the key and that kind of thing has got to be a double flat or a double sharp. And they don't change it to a G natural because that is something else. So right now for our theory, we're going to use an A double flat because we have to keep it as a sixth. Okay, so that's diminished. It's two half steps closer to our bottom note. Now augmented is larger. If you think about, um, if you've heard of the term augmenting something, so it's been augmented, it's made bigger. So augmented means it's farther away by a half step. Okay, so a half step farther away is augmented. So here we are, C, instead of an A, it's an A sharp, it's a half step larger. Okay, minor, half step closer, diminished, two half steps closer, augmented, one half step bigger, farther away from the bottom note. Okay, that's how we do majors, minors, diminished, and augmented. There are four different types of intervals with the major minor intervals. <clears throat> now our perfect intervals are one, four, five, and eight. And this time there are only three. There are no minor perfect intervals. There's no such thing as a minor perfect. You can't have a minor fourth. You can't have a major fourth. You can have a perfect fourth, a diminished fourth, or an augmented fourth. So I use fourth and I use C as the bottom note again. So our perfect, of course, is C, C, D, E, F, C to an F, that's a fourth. F major, or F, excuse me, F natural is in C major, that's a perfect fourth. Once you put a flat there, it's diminished, okay? It does not uh, go to a minor. They go perfect, diminished, and then augmented. There are three different types only, okay? So an F flat and an F sharp, a C to an F sharp, is half a step larger. So diminished is half a step closer or smaller, closer to the bottom note than what's in the scale, and augmented is half a step bigger, farther away in our perfect intervals. There are three different types of perfect. There's only one perfect interval, but when you're talking about first, fourth, fifth, or eighths, there's three different possibilities. Okay? Now, there's a diagram I use, which I, which I think uh, is very helpful. I called it a helpful diagram. And I use it with my students and they seem to um, find it helpful as well. So the idea is this, you have a, a note, let's say we're, we're talking C major, here's a C, you pretend it's down here, and you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do a fifth. So what is a fifth above C? Well, in the scale it would be a G, that gives you your perfect. If it were a G sharp, it would be augmented, if it were a G flat, it would be diminished. So you can see how this one is closer and that augmented is farther away. Majors have two half steps closer, each one of these is a half step, and augmented is one half step farther away. Okay, we're gonna use this diagram on the next page. I'm gonna to have to write it out, um, because I, I'm just gonna to have to do that. So here we're gonna ident identify some intervals. Let's see if I can actually, aha, here we go. I can do this. All right, 
Okay, so let's identify the, by these intervals using my little chart if need be. So here we have a C to a B flat. Well, first of all, that's a seventh. You can count it up if you want to or count on your fingers, but I can tell you right now it's a seventh. So C to a B flat, C major has a B natural in it. So here we are. And so these are the perfect ones over here and these are the major minors. So that would be over this one. We have a C. C major should have a B, but this is a B flat. So it's minor. That's a minor seven. Okay, here we have an F sharp to a C. Well, that's that's one of our perfect typed intervals. F sharp major has, I hope you're saying out loud right now, six sharps. So it should definitely have a C sharp. So here's our F sharp. And if it were a perfect fifth, it would be C sharp, but this is a C natural. So it's a diminished fifth. I think that, well, I know that thinking spatially will really help. If you don't want to make out a little chart, I've had students just use their fingers. Okay, well, it came by closer by a half step or bigger than a half, half step, or they use their hands like this. I find that when people do it in their heads, they make mistakes. They especially make mistakes between augmented and diminished for some reason. Okay, why is there a natural here? Doesn't matter. Doesn't need to be there. There's no sharp. Okay, G natural <laughs> to a G flat. Okay, so we've got a, this is, this is an eighth, if you wanted to count it out. G to a G is an octave, we should know that. So we have G down here. A G to a G should be your perfect octave. This is a G flat, so it's a diminished octave. A diminished, a dim eight. Now here's a, an E. E major has what kind of G? Well, more over here, it's a third. E major has a G sharp. G natural, G flat. Here's another diminished. Dim three. Okay. Now, F major. F major has a B flat. If it were perfect. Right? F major has a B flat. That would make it perfect. But this is a B natural. It's been raised. They don't need to put the natural in. There's no key signature there. It's been raised, so it's an augmented fourth. <clears throat> an augmented fourth. Okay. Here's a D to a B, now that's a sixth, okay? D major, it's over here again, this is not a perfect type interval. D major has a B natural, B flat, B double flat. Another diminished, a dim six. Now, how would we make, if we, if we wanted to have a, an augmented sixth, we would have to have a sharp there, wouldn't we? Just, just so you know. You can see it's a big difference. So if we didn't have that, if we had D to a B sharp, D has a B natural, that would be augmented, right? But this one has double, double flat. So it went from D to a B natural, to a flat, to a double flat. Okay, so that's how that works. You, there's a lot of movement in the major minors. You have to be very careful. Now, E, has, oh, this is a sixth again. Um, e has a C sharp in it, okay? So here we are, E should have a C sharp, but this is just a C natural. That's just a minor, just a minor sixth, okay? Now C major, now this, this is another problem I find. There's a sharp over here and they're thinking it's, it's C sharp, but you see it's really on that space there. This is a D sharp. This is a C natural to a D sharp. Be careful where your accidentals are when you're reading, when you're identifying intervals. Okay, this is definitely in the space. So this is a C to a D sharp. Okay, so C major has a D natural. This is a D sharp. We got augmented second. Okay, now I do know that sometimes the bottom notes, let's say you had an E sharp down here, that can throw people off too because there's no such thing as E sharp major. I'll be doing a different video on that, on that concept, okay? What to do when the bottom note does not exist as a key. But right now, these ones are all um, easily doable. And if you uh, use my little chart here, you can write it out for yourself. Again, think about it. If you don't want to use the chart, think, well, this is a major and it's bigger. So, or even the bottom it goes down, you know, think spatially for this. It really does help. Anyway, I hope this, uh, this uh, video helped.